Big Game Bites is presented by Tabasco, making meals better for 150 years. Hafadei Guam, I'm here with Brandon Lemus, who is the kitchen supervisor at Pokey Fry. And today's Big Game Bites challenge, we're using Tabasco to make... A deep fried chicken chaser with the spicy Tabasco coconut cream sauce. My name is Josh Palomo, I'm the kitchen supervisor here at Pokey Fry. Nice, so let's do it. Okay, well first we dry rubbed it, uh, garlic, black pepper, and salt. We butterflied it just so it could cook faster. So we're gonna dry batter it with the half and half cornstarch and flour, and then we're gonna deep fry that. While we deep fry this, I'm just gonna cook the Tabasco coconut cream sauce. So I'm gonna do butter, at least like one tablespoon of butter. Hot. While I do that, I'm gonna add the onion and then the garlic. Both two tablespoons each of salt and the black pepper. You know, anybody can make it. I mean, we like simple. Simple, that tastes good, you know. So, I like that. Yeah. Yum, I can smell it. <laughs> Coconut milk. Yeah. I mean, you can it's add a, a lot, yeah. A lot Depending like the, on your taste. Yeah, because everybody likes the taste of the coconut milk. Add a little bit of water. It blends everything together. After that, add the Tabasco. Ooh, yeah. our secret ingredient. It depends on your taste buds. So yeah. You can add more yeah. or less. You can. It's just the more you add to the Tabasco, because the Tabasco is very vinegary. If you add a little bit more, I, you know, just add a little more to the coconut milk. But when you try to, you know, blend those two together, it's just less coconut milk, more Tabasco. If you like hot. Got it. Right now it looks watery. You just have to let it cook a little bit so it can thicken up. When you cook the the coconut milk, tends to get thicker. So how long do you usually let it sit um, on the stove? I just like by eye, it's just if you <laughs> see that it's thick enough. Just kind of feel it around? Yeah. Taste like, it? Yeah. So right now it's thick enough. Me, I like it a little bit more thick just so you can actually see the sauce instead of it mm. going down the chicken and making it look like it's a soup. Okay. I'm going to go check on the chicken. So I'm just going to cut it in. Strips. Wow, no. that looks amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to add the sauce. Oh yeah. That's really gonna make it. The green onions just for color. That's about it. Okay, we're gonna try this. Okay. Sure. Together. Sure. Let's do it. It's kind of hot, so. It's <laughs> so hot. It tastes delicious. So tasty. Oh my gosh. The well, Super Bowl is cool and all, but I really think it's the food that becomes the star at the parties. Have you been to a Super Bowl party? I mean, no. Are I you? mean, we had it at our house, like, we got together, but, you know, yeah. just simple stuff, like beer, you know, cheese mm -hmm. And fried chicken. Yeah. And that's a wrap for our Big Game Bites here with Pokey Fry. We made a deep fried chicken chaser drenched in just the right amount of spicy Tabasco coconut cream sauce. That's even a star item made with their house to Nancy on their daily menu. A bite you don't want to miss during halftime. With Team KUAM, I'm Carmen Victoria Terlahi. Big Game Bites is presented by Tabasco, making meals better for 150 years.